Hi, this is Annette Sullivan from Lavender Thoughts. Today I'm here to show you uh, how to create a cool background using some rubber bands. Uh, here's an example of one that I've made earlier. So let's get started. Okay. You see I've just got all these different size rubber bands. So different thicknesses, you'll get different um, textures when you put the ink it so you can just put your rubber bands on anyway curl them or flat um, and just move them around to get different you can have as many or as few on as you want just depends on what sort of effect you're trying to get Okay, so there's our bands, and we've just got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. I'll just tape that down, and we're just going to do about four centimeters on one side of it. Just use a bit of washi tape to keep that there. Okay, so we're going to be using mint macaron and rich razzleberry today. So we'll start off with the mint macaron. And you just tap it on your ink pad, exactly the same as if you're stamping. And then just Okay. And then we're just going to clean it off. And I'm just going to use a chamois, just however you normally clean your stamps. See the ink's all gone there. And now we'll get the rich razzleberry. Let's make sure I've got that lined up there. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Let's clean our, clean our rubber bands so we don't get ink everywhere. Okay, so we could just leave it like that and then decorate the rest of our card. But I'm just going to add a little bit of a wow factor to it. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to sponge Using the mint macaron. Make sure that's clean. So, you, so I'll just pick up a bit of ink. Start off our off the edge of the cardstock so you don't end up with too much of an uneven mix on there. Now, how much cooler does that look? Just with that little bit of sponging makes a big difference to what you're getting. So now we're just going to put some stamping on the other side of it. And for that we're going to use the Stamparatus and a couple of magnets. So I'm just going to line this up. I'm going to use the new Love What You Do stamp set. I'm just going to use this particular image here. And we line it up where we want it to be. It up okay 
Okay. So I'm just going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black to ink that. Just take that off so you can... Now the beauty of the Stamparatus is if you don't get it all right the first time, you can just add some more ink to it. Stamp it again. Beautiful. So we'll just clean that one off. And then we're just going to put a sentiment down the bottom there. And I think we'll just Love what you do. Okay. Let's move that magnet up there a bit. Excuse my head if it's in the way. Okay. So I'll pick that one up. Just pop that down there. And this time we're going to ink it with the rich hazelberry. Just might give it a little bit more colour. Lovely. Okay. Now, in this stamp set, it's a two step, two step. Stamp set. I think my words caught up. So there's these little pieces here which we can actually use to colour our flowers. So I can just pick up, and I can leave it on the stamparatus to do it because that gives us a nice foam area to do it on. So I'll just ink up our stamp. And stamp it off twice. And this one I'm only going to stamp off once so we get a little bit deeper colour. to add a little bit more highlight with this smaller spot. And we'll just ink it in the middle at full strength. And then for this one we'll stamp off once. So we've got a little bit of variation there. Finish it off, we're just going to add a few leaves with the mint macaron. So as you can see the decorating the rest of the card is taking longer than the actual technique itself. Okay, should just about do it I think. So I put 
got all our stamping done. Get our ink away. And it's a good idea to put your magnets back straight away. As they get together, they're likely to smash. So I can take out art panel. And for our card base, we're going to use a Thick Whisper White card base, which is 21 centimetres by 14.8, scored at 10 and a half. Let's make that fold nice and crisp. And then we're going to layer that on a piece of rich rosalberry. So the white piece is 9.5 by 13.8 and the raspberry piece is just 3 millimetres more. So it's 9.8, sorry, 9.5 and the raspberry 9.8 by 14.1. So I'll just use some of our Tombow glue to put that down. See so if we can actually got a little bit of time to move that before we push it down the glue catches. And we can add that to the front of our card. Sure I've got the card the right way up. So a little bit of decoration on the inside. I've just got a half a centimetre piece of the rich razzleberry. I'll just use my grid paper to line that up. Okay, so we might just Get a little bit of decoration as well. So I'll bring our floral flower back and we're just going to put the two top flowers on the small ink block there. And we'll just ink those up. A little bit of decoration at the bottom of the card, and we'll do the same on the bottom of the front of our envelope. Okay. One beautiful card using the rubber band technique. Now, I've only used two thicknesses of rubber bands there, but you can use thicker ones again and just vary your pattern and see what you can get. And as you can see, you don't need to sponge the background, but I think that just adds a little bit of a wow factor to it. Okay. So just as a quick recap, that's the one we've just made. This one I used making with falling flowers, and I've used pink pirouette crumb cake and early espresso on a vanilla card. This one uses call me clover and soft sea foam with some gorgeous grape and highland heather. And this one is blueberry bushel and balmy blue with a little bit of old olive in the leaves. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see what's coming up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.